Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based tarot reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker, and I'm also a chef. And before we dive into today's video, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, please do comment them down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here are the details. Alrighty, let's get to the meat of the video. Now today we're going to be reading another BTS member. We have two left. We have J-Hope and V. And today we're going to be reading V. Alright? Now, the deck that we're going to be using is the Light Sears Tarot. I use this for my reading of Jimin and Jungkook's Friendship, which I will leave linked up there. And this is a terrific deck. I think it suits him quite a lot. It's it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of his vibe. Alright? Now, before we get started, y'all know that this is energetic, so this is not factual. What we're doing is reading V's energy as of the moment. So, energy changes, it constantly changes. So the card that we're going to be uh, reading for him today might be his card forever, it might not be his card forever. This could change tomorrow or it could not change tomorrow. So it all depends on the energy that V is giving us right now, that V is radiating out for us right now. And we're about to choose. There we go. And it is the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Now, now off the bat, the message that I'm getting for V is actually a phrase. And that phrase is a little light, a little light. If you notice, there's actually like a small candle being lit here. And I'm sensing that layover has something to do with that. So I'm seeing V as kind of like the person, or I'm sensing his energy as kind of like the person who is very much himself. And we see that in videos, right? He's very much himself. He's very much in his own world. But to the point that sometimes he may question himself. Again, it's not factual. This is energetic. So it might be that it, it's possible that he questions himself that um, Will people like the material that I put out? Will people like the videos that I create? Will people enjoy the music that I will be um, that I will be presenting to them? And so far, so good, right? V has done a great job with layover. I believe that this is truly who he is at the very core. He wants to express a lot of himself and I see that here actually particularly very here there's so much of him that he still wants to express but he wants to do it kind of like a little bit of a time a little bit at a time and he doesn't want to do it um well yes not at once not all at once and he also does not want to reveal all of himself um if that makes sense you know like it's kind of like, okay, this part of me, I'll reveal a lot about myself. This part of me, maybe just a little bit. This part, also a little bit. This part, none, really. So you get the point. I'm sensing that there are aspects of him that he wants to keep to himself, which actually I do agree as well. I agree with that completely. My personality actually is a mix of sugar and V, so it's very hot. <laughs> I completely understand how or why he wants to do that if that is what he is radiating right now and i'm thinking that it is i'm sensing that it is what he's radiating right now he gives a little bit but at the same time he knows when to keep stuff to himself he knows which part of himself to keep just for himself and i think that's very clever of him most of the time so this is a lesson that we can learn from v in this particular reading most of the time we reveal a lot about ourselves. We reveal it where? On social media. We post every single thing, even if they are seemingly insignificant. You know, like for example, here is a tissue that I use to wipe my brow off. It's on Instagram, you know, or it's on TikTok, you know. And so we do that 
without really realizing that we are spreading ourselves too thin. And I've actually talked about this in one of my videos. If I can find it, I'll leave it linked up there. If I can't, it's somewhere there. All right. And this is a very good, um, this is a very good lesson to learn from him: is to always know when and what to keep about yourself. In this case, he's actually doing a great job of doing that. He can filter out what he decides to, uh, you know, like he has the capacity to filter out what he decides to show us and what he decides to keep to himself. Because let's be real, not everything needs to be revealed. You know what I mean? Like your daily routine, fine. Sometimes it can be revealed, but most of the time, not really. Like there's no point in revealing it to other people unless another person asks, right? Let's say, for example, um, what about Tiny's eating routine? There's no point in, uh, in showing that, right? Unless we ask about it, right? Unless we ask about it and he decides to to indulge us, right? So yeah, there is no, with V, there's no fluff. He does everything with reason. He does everything with a purpose. We might not see that purpose right away, but mind you, he does it very mindfully. Another thing that I'm seeing is that he's actually feeling like he did a very good job with layover. I am pretty happy with layover. He should be proud of layover. It's such a nice departure from um, V with BTS and V as an individual. So now we're starting to see the real colors of each of the members' um, individual personalities, right? And I love that they have such varied music. I love that they have such varied personalities to show us because at the very core, they are individuals. Yes, they are BTS as a whole, but at the same time, they're also individuals. So V, particularly for me as well, I find that V might be the type of person that people may think of as an introvert, like what people expect an introvert to be like. That's when I, that's how I see V, you know? And it's because he has his own little world. And within his own little world, he has his own standards. And I think that in the beginning, I'm sensing this, right? I'm just reading off of this energy. I think in the beginning, he was a little bit, not maybe afraid, but maybe hesitant to show us the content of layover, or the music of layover, just because it's such a, um, it's such a different departure from what BTS is as a whole, like, like their music as a whole, you know, not majority of their music sounds like the music that V has produced. But at the same time, he's also like, well, this is me as an individual. And so let's go for it. So he releases it. And I feel like the little light in him, this one, has really sparked. He's really happy at the fact that people received it well. He's really happy about putting Tanny on the cover, you know. Um, he's really happy about the fact that people accepted it, even though it wasn't BTS as a whole. It was it was him being vulnerable, V being V, just really presenting himself to us in his own style, in his own fashion. And we realize that, hey, this is who V is, you know? He is this person. He's very chill. He's very sentimental, you know, at the very least. He's quite sentimental about things. He wants to see life from a flowy kind of perspective. There is a very, I'm using very too much. There is this sense of go with the flow. He's, it's kind of a, this point in his life I'm sensing is a, is a go with the flow type of situation. And it's working for him. A lot of people have trouble with go with the flow because they constantly want to be in control. And I get it because I also constantly want to be in control as well. Um, I have that duality because I'm a Gemini. I have like go with the flow within me, but I also have control within me. And they're very different spectrums. They're two different spectrums, but it works, you know, <laughs> Gemini's. And so for V, he's at the point where he's deciding to be more intuitive about it. 
I actually think that next to Jim, he's the next intuitive member of the of the entire group. You know, Suga's also very intuitive. And I find that this is very common with people who know themselves uh, quite well. I believe Suga know, knows himself quite well. I believe Jin also knows himself quite well. And I believe that V knows himself quite well too. And that reflection actually allows you to understand that, hey, this is how I receive messages. Hey, this is how I know to go with my gut. Hey, this is how I know when to accept influence, when to accept advice from other people. People who reflect on themselves and who are truly themselves and who know themselves down to a T, they're very intuitive. And so I see that from V as well. It's such, like, there's a lot of intuition with V. Actually, I think I have to, um, I have to retract what I said about Jin being the most intuitive member. I think V, now seeing this card, I think actually V is the most intuitive member out of all of them. It's probably, like, he doesn't probably show it a lot, but yes, I would say V, then I would say Jin and Suga tied together. Suga is very intuitive in a different way. Um, it actually seems like he's like me. I'm claircognizant. It means I know stuff without knowing how I know stuff. And so I think Suga is kind of like that as well. But V is very much, he's in tune with the flow. And so he knows where to get the next message from the universe. He knows the best way to go about things. And because of that, he's always guided. He's never in a situation where he would, you know, most likely mess himself up or put himself into trouble. We rarely hear news about me getting in trouble and something got into my eye. Okay, and it was my hair. <laughs> so yes, we rarely hear news about V getting into trouble, V stirring up like, um, there's no bad news about V, basically. And because he follows his intuition a lot, there is a lot of guidance there. And I don't know if he knows it, but good on you, V. Not a lot of people can do this, especially with the job that you have. You know, there's so much influence all around him that it could easily go south, but he doesn't. He takes care of it very well, and he goes with the flow very, extremely well. So keep doing that, V. And then one last thing that I'm seeing from V's energy is that he actually has a lot to uh, to offer to us. It's kind of like layover is the appetizer. And of course, I'm using, um, sorry, that's something again. Of course, I'm using meal and food uh alliterations because I'm a chef, but think of layover as the appetizer. He actually has a lot of main courses and desserts to give us, and so we'll be waiting on that. But again, he knows when to show it. He knows how to pace himself. He knows when to show it, what to show, what to share in terms of his personality, his skills, and his projects. Keep doing what you're doing, V. You're doing a great Great, 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 great job. All right. Now, I hope this was enjoyable. I hope um, it was interesting. And again, we are reading current energies. This card could change tomorrow. It could not change tomorrow. This could be the card for V forever, or it could not be the card for V forever. It depends on his energy, right? And there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, please do comment them down below. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button over there. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, here are the details. And that's it. Stay happy, stay healthy. Now the last number that we're going to do is J-Hope, Hobie. And I will see you guys there. And if you have any um, you know, requests that you want to do, like K-dramas, other K-pop artists, any artist in general, actually, that would be really fun. Uh, yeah, just comment them down below, and let's do it, all right? And I will see you guys next time.